constipation like really bad like I had to poop but it just like I could feel it like stuck so a little bit of poop came out sorry to my and then I just oh my god it was so painful but like I didn't have any like stomach pain it was literally just all in my like butt and then I was throwing up like, like nausea it was just like really really rough so then I had to be at work at 7.45 and when I went to work, like I just felt like so shitty and Calvin came in with me. I, I told you guys I'm a nanny. So he was there playing with Cairo and stuff, who's the toddler. Mom like came downstairs and she saw that I just like wasn't feeling well and she told me I can go home. Also it was bleeding. Like, Thanks baby. Okay. Yes babe, I would love you if you're aware. <laughs> My baby made me a medicine ball. <laughs> Obviously when you're pregnant and bleeding is freaking scary. So I called, they told me like things to look out for, like if I get a fever, chills, any like bad abdominal pain or if I'm bleeding through two pads in an hour. I'm not bleeding anymore, so that makes me feel better. But yeah, we have an ultrasound today at 2.30. Originally, we're supposed to have one on Thursday. The original, original is supposed to be next Thursday, yeah. next week. Like, we kept, like, pushing it forward, pushing it forward, and today we got one, so... I'm praying that everything's fine and that baby has a strong heartbeat. I'm exactly six weeks today, so... It's really soon. And Calvin's gonna get me some chicken soup from Chick fil A. We're on our way to the doctor's. And we're buying a Chick fil A first so I can get some ice. That's it, only ice. <laughs> Nothing else. I just want ice. Thanks. I've gone to Chick fil A just three times today. Huh? Chase. He has. That's why he's the best boyfriend ever. I don't even really like soft serve ice cream. And I love it. Hmm. I didn't even know I had ice cream cones. Neither did I. Chick-fil-A ice is different. It's different than any other kind of ice you could ever get in your life. Well, actually, I think Sonic has the same ice. Which one has good ice, too? Like this? Uh, I don't know if exactly like that, but it's crushed ice. When you're pregnant and you're in the hospital and, like, if you get an epidural, literally all you can eat is ice chips, yeah. which is basically this. So good. See you later. You nervous, babe? Now your pulse rate was through the roof. It's okay. If they had to check mine, I know mine would be right, right there with you. Are you able to pee? Yeah, took me a minute, I got it. Hey guys, so we just got home right now. Um, we grabbed some dinner, we grabbed pho, and then we're gonna just lay down and like have a chill movie night in bed. I haven't vlogged since we left the doctor. So basically I'm measuring at four weeks. So that's way too early to even see anything. So tomorrow morning I'm gonna go in and 
they're gonna do some blood work and they're gonna test my hcg levels i had to get a rogam shot for both my pregnancies something to do with your blood type but yeah they're testing my blood tomorrow to kind of get a better idea of my hormone levels and kind of where i'm at and then they're like afraid that it can be like an ectopic pregnancy because of the bleeding like when i laid down on the table for the vaginal ultrasound there was so much blood like when she pulled it out and on the table like where i was laying it was so scary and i just was like oh my god like i just i'm trying trying not to think the worst but it's really really hard when you're bleeding and you're pregnant so i don't even know if this video is ever gonna make it to the internet because i'm like embarrassed um and I know there's nothing to like be embarrassed about. So many women go through this and maybe it'll be good for me to talk about. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I can't do anything but wait. And I'm just super, super anxious and sad. I will try to vlog like throughout this experience, let you guys know what happens. Um, but yeah. Okay, well, I'll see you guys later. Hey guys. I'm literally in so much pain. Calvin's taking me to the ER right now because I can't handle this pain anymore so I just feel in my gut like something's wrong it's gonna take me I'm trying to stay positive but I've had two pregnancies and I've never felt like this before so It just gave me some medicine. I feel so much better. I've literally never been in so much pain in my life. And I'm just praying that everything's fine and that I'm able to have a baby still one day. So happy to have him by my side. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I'm scared. I don't wanna cry again, but it hurts when I cry. So I'm just gonna stop crying. How do you feel, babe? Just try and hold it together. Make sure you're alright before anything. Harmony. I have from the emergency department is an ultrasound report. Um, essentially says, uh, well, we've got a couple things. I have a blood um, hormone level for pregnancy. It says you're pregnant. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. You're pregnant of a level of, uh, and this is, urine is either positive or negative. Blood test gives you a number. Okay. We think over about 3,000. If the number is about 3,000, you should probably see a pregnancy inside the uterus. Okay. Meaning like a little sac or a little tiny embryo or a little tiny heartbeat or something like that. Yeah. Um, your, th your level is 6,300 and they don't see anything in the uterus. So there is a little concern at that point for a, an, what's called an ectopic pregnancy, okay? okay? Ectopic pregnancy essentially is um, when a woman gets pregnant, okay, let's, let's go back to the basics. When you have sex and the sperm starts swimming up towards the egg and the egg comes down from the ovary through the fallopian tube Usually it, the egg gets fertilized in the tube, little 
cells start dividing, they implant in the uterus, okay? But if that little dividing cells, that little zygote, doesn't make it into the uterus and starts growing in the tube, ectopic essentially means outside the uterus. There's a couple ways to approach what we think is an ectopic pregnancy, okay? One is um, to try to uh, do surgery, um, where we go in and remove the fallopian tube. Um, and that is often where the tube looks like it's about to rupture. It has ruptured a woman's bleeding internally. We're basically going in trying to stop a process that looks like it's gonna be very harmful, okay? And the other one is to give medicine called methotrexate okay. that stops the growth of rapidly dividing cells, basically tries to stop the growth of an ectopic pregnancy. And if we give that medicine, what we do is we give the medicine, we give it here right now, we follow you, we give the level, we give the medicine today, we do an HCG level in four days, we see what that is, and between four days and seven days, we want to see the level go down by at least 15%. So if your level today is 63300, it doesn't really matter what the level is in four days, it can go up a little, that's okay. Four it's the ten. day four to day seven that we really care about. Okay. Okay. If they're going down, we do once a week, either here or in the doctor's office, and you avoid surgery, and you save your tube, okay. and then, you know, so everything's good. So will I still good. be able to get pregnant in the future? Yes. Okay. Let me explain, though. Sometimes that medicine, we check it between four and seven days, and the levels don't go down of what we want to see. So there's a couple options there. We can give another dose, which is very common, mm -hmm. and we can do another four, di four yeah. to seven day follow, which is totally fine. It's, it's a little bit of work, but it's avoiding yeah. surgery. This is what I'm seeing. You're stable. You're not bleeding internally. Okay. We're not seeing they would a, see an that actual on the pregnancy ultrasound? yet. What's that? They would see that on the ultrasound if I was bleeding internally? Yeah. Okay. yeah, we'd see a bunch of fluid inside. Okay. Methotrexate. Mm -hmm. um, what sure what are the it. like side effects of that? Um, okay, so first of all, you're probably going to bleed, like a period, because okay. your uterus is, your uterus still thinks, thinks I'm that, pregnant. Yeah, exactly. So it still might get a thick lining, it might shut off that lining. So bleeding's normal. A little bit of pain's normal as the cells kind of get dissolved. Okay. Um, but what you need to know is, um, you, if you feel, if you go home and you feel like, okay, I'm having a little bit of pain, oh my God, the pain is super bad, there is still a small chance that we can give the medicine and the pregnancy still grows and you be, still have a ruptured ectopic. Okay. So you need to come back if you have significant pain. Like I felt Bleeding earlier. I'm not so worried about, but significant pain, I want to see you back. Okay. Okay? Busted ass toad. Toad? Yeah. That sexy ass toad. My baby's here again. I just want this pain to go away. And I'm gonna probably have to get surgery. Ooh. Whatever it takes to fix it. This fing sucks. Looks like we're gonna have to get surgery. But at least you're gonna feel better, right, babe? Mm -hmm. And you're strong. And you're gonna recover. Uh -huh. I hate this. Oh. There's so much pain. And that's why we get the surgery. We're gonna feel better. After uh -huh. the road to recovery, at least we're getting answers now. At least we're actually having solutions now. I so ugly. <laughs> Never that. That's impossible. My hair looks like a rat's nest. She's tripping now. That's the drugs talking.
Gotta get surgery. Welcome to the club. I wish it was my titties, but here the f we are. <laughs> <laughs> hey, maybe you get some experience before you get this done. Uh -huh. I'm literally in so much pain. <laughs> Hi, babe. You got this. Love you more. How are you feeling, babe? Post surgery. Surgery was a success. I was just trying to recover. I'm so proud of my baby. I love you, mamas. Oh, you love me, baby. Are you okay, mamas? I'm alive. I my first surgery. Congratulations. So scary. I know, babe. We're, we're all so proud of you. Literally, like, when I went into the midwife, I started crying. Mm hmm. And then they gave me some medicine, and then I was here. <laughs> Part of the turn of events. But I'm glad that I came to the hospital. I know, me too, babe. It could have been worse. Well, she explained it to me after the surgery. It makes sense for the amount of pain that you're in, so. Why? Just because, like, it looked like you had, like, a slow bleed. And when you're losing your blood, and that left one, that left two of those, no chance of saving. Really? Yeah. Why? The, it ruptured. Oh. The good news is everything else looks good. Your ovaries, your uterus, your right tube. Everything looks good. This was the best thing. And I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you too. I did the easy part. I just drove you. I thought I was going to have to call an ambulance. I got home and I was like... Do you think that the will get in the car and drive? No, because I was like, I need them to give me meds now. Can you take your watch off, please? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Calvin went to go pop the car. The nurse is getting me wheelchair. Finally going home. It's the next morning. And I'm in a lot of pain. I've been up since 4. 30 in the morning. I haven't been able to sleep because of the pain. I got my right to the pharmacy as soon as they were ready. I don't feel the pain I felt yesterday, but now I just feel like the surgery pain. I'm just glad to have my baby. Love you more. He's naked right now, so I'm not gonna show him. We're gonna watch manifest. So it finally came out today, so we're gonna binge watch that today. Yeah, I'm checking later. It's been a few hours, and I still can't talk. My voice hurts, and Calvin is cleaning and putting away my laundry. Yeah, right? No, it's vlogging. Oh. My mom and dad are both about to come over right now and hang out with me. I'm their only child, so I can't even imagine. Like, I only have one child right now and 
if something ever happened to him, I just don't even know what I would do. So I'm sure they're very worried about me. But I'm just happy that I'm not in the pain I was in yesterday because it was unbearable. And I feel like I have a pretty high pain tolerance, but it was bad. I know you feel the difference right now. I can't see anything. I just still can't see. You just know that he cleaned. Our room was very bad. He was like, I'm not having your mom come over at our house with you like this. Like, we were at the hospital for two days. I'm sure she'll understand. It's been a long 48 hours. I'm just excited to shower tomorrow. I haven't showered in a few days. It's so gross, but it's what it is. Yeah, Calvin's going to water my plants right now. Bubba, you can, if you want me to water them, you can lift this. Huh? You can lift that so that they get some sun. Oh. I have to go pee, though. I think you can help me. Can I what? Help you? Yeah. Uh, you got to ask if I can help you. Mm -hmm. I just hate feeling like a burden to people. You're not a burden, but you and this together, you both going through it. You more physically than me, obviously, but you know, this is what we're both going through. I was doing my part, doing my job. Sit up or you want to stay laying down? No. Stay laying down. Lay down. You good like that? Yes. Just hold this one on me first. Uh. Uh. Careful. Uh. Careful. 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 All the nonsense I said, but that's good when it's recovering. Thank you. Mm. He's watering my plants for me. What an angel. Wait, over a little bit. Turn. To the left more? Yeah. And then rotate it a little bit. Which way? Towards the left. Yeah, that's good. Mom, I brought me some flowers. Oh, thanks for the cure. Say hi, Mom. Right. Hi, Mom. Say hi, Carlo. Thank you, Mommy. Uh, what? No, I'm good. Love you. Alright, love you. Bye, Dad. My dad just came to check on me. He just left. My mom is staying with me until Calvin gets back later. This is not... This is not fun. Oh. Mm. 27 but your mom still picks off your food for you <laughs> <laughs> Ew, I could smell the cilantro mm. Do you want <laughs> You like her little boy? Mm -hmm. He purrs so loud, huh? Yeah, he is loud He's a big boy Hey guys, so it is the next day and 
I just took some more medicine to help me feel better. I just feel like so helpless and so uncomfortable not being able to like just get up and go to the bathroom. It's like, not that I ever took that for granted, but it's like something that I'm just gonna be so much more like appreciative for and like grateful for just being able to get up and go to the bathroom whenever. I'm so lucky to have my boyfriend Calvin taking care of me. Oh, there he is. I'm about to take a shower for the first time in like an embarrassingly, embarrassingly long amount of time. My baby's gonna help me. Do you ever think he'd be having to give me a shower? Mm -hmm. Be careful. All right, I'm gonna shower. Pretty, you're a pretty girl. But that be. Here you go. Thank you. 